Rockies, everybody. Tell them they got to do the ESP uh, application. 
I tell them we're going to do a production kickoff call. Here we're going to actually do a production plan and meeting. We actually build funnels for everybody. That, my, my, my value proposition is really easy. When someone partners with me, I feel like it's my job to make their phone ring. That's my job. My job is to make the phone ring, whether it's to ring with buyers, ring with sellers, or ring with agents wanting to know more about an HP. So when I meet with them, I tell them that's my job. If you talk to, I've had people call me back, they say, hey man, can you make my phone stop ringing? But that's what we do. Literally, we make their phone ring. Um, we do live training and boot camps. I tell them that's going to happen next. Uh, we go through agent attraction training. We do a game plan call. Um, I take them through three-way call training. Uh, we schedule their Facebook live announcement. And finally, we plug them into all of the events like this. Okay, so the main thing you can do is you can let your people know. If you have somebody that's interested in agent attraction and they're in your downline and they don't know about this event and they're not here, that's your fault. That's your responsibility. You should be able to, you should make sure everybody in your group knows about the events and what next events are coming up. So what happens next, the EXP application, I tell them, listen, you're going to get an email. It's going to say next steps. There's going to be a link to the application. They're going to have the sponsor's information. I'm going to include a lot of other eligible links, but I'm showing them the email, right? I'm future pacing. I'm showing them exactly what's going to happen. Then I say, you're going to complete the application. After you complete the application, you're going to get a code. What I want you to do with that code is I want you to send it to me, and I want you to send it to Tracy or Rebecca. They're two individuals that help us with onboarding agents. After that, I tell them about the ESP desk pass to the world, again, and then I tell them about being their sponsor, but you can see I'm making it visual for them, right? I'm making it visual, I'm making it really easy for them to understand. And if this, if this slide or this screen changes, my goal is to update the slides. We're constantly updating slides. If the process changes, if the email changes, this is a, a living document. If the process changes, the slides, the slides are gonna change, right? I tell them how they're going to name their sponsor. I tell them if they can't find the person exactly, you know, obviously a lot of the times they're not going to name me because sometimes I'm doing these for other people. And so I'm going to tell them if you can't find your person, I walk them through the process on how to find them. I tell them they're going to have to complete the ICA. After you complete the, uh, after you complete the application, you'll get an independent contractor's agreement. You'll sign the ICA and choose to start. I walk them through 100% of the time. I always walk a lot of the times, this is real quick. Remember, we covered it. It's 8 20 split, 16,000. I'm not assuming they already know that. Because if I assume they know that, and they, I've had people literally tell me something back that was wrong, and that might have been an objection. That might have been something holding me back. So I walk by, I walk them through this, I ask them if they have any questions about it. And then a lot of the times, people are going to ask the question So who's going to be my broker? I don't let them ask that question. I walk them through the process. Hey, you're going to meet, you're going to be able to meet your designated broker. I explained to them how that works, how it works in the workplace. Some of these are going to be connected to broker. I remind them all the time that they'll have my cell phone number. They're my partner. I literally say this every single time. If you think about calling me, you should have called me. If you think I should call you, like, if you, if you, like maybe I should call Mike, that means you should have called me. Right? I want them to feel that connection, that they can call me anytime, anywhere. I'll take their call and I say, if I don't answer, I promise I'll call you back. Um, I let them know that Tracy and Becky are going to be there to walk them through the process. And, and, and the main thing is I'm trying to get them comfortable. I want them to feel like I'm their partner because I am their partner. I remind them about the business cards. We have 43 slides in 20 minutes, so I'm going fast. I apologize. But if anyone wants to copy these slides, let me know. We let them know that they can keep their brand. We tell them about the business cards. Here's probably one of the most important things I do. I send them the, uh, our, our fast start training. I give them an onboard checklist. This, this video training, in all fairness, is probably overdue for an update because there has been some things that change. I would say it's 90%. You know, it's going to teach them how to find their regis office in their state. It gives them clear communication on what they need to do. Again, what happens after that? We do the production kickoff call. The way they get the production kickoff call, so it's a text template. So I tell them, you're going to get a text from me. And in that text, there's going to be a link. And all you got to do is click on that link and schedule your call with Woods. So there's a link to Woods' calendar. On that kickoff call, they're going to reverse engineer the production goals. Again, I'm trying to identify this person's plan. I'm trying to help them get clarity, right? So we're going to create a lead generation plan. The number one goal I feel like it's my job for them to know the number one thing that they need to do in order to get to their goal. I 
come from the Mastering the Rockefeller Habits, it's a great book. The concept is, where do you want to be in five years? What do you do in the next 90 days to get there? Don't worry about the middle part. So I try to get them real clear on the next 90 day plan of action. So we're creating a 90 day action plan. This happens. This is the process. They click on the link in the email, they get on with the woods, they schedule the call. After that, we're going to do their funnel build out. Sorry, did I miss something? After that, we're going to do their funnel build out. This is the eight stages of business. If anyone wants to copy this, I'll share with them. This is probably one of our biggest masterpieces that um, was, was co created, um, really quarterbacked by Jay, but it was a really great document for coaching real estate agents. So the, the, the philosophy here is every real estate agent is at a stage of their business, and in order to move to the next stage, they have to solve a problem, and this document helps you isolate the problem. And so we're using this with them, finding out where they are, what's the number one challenge they have in their business in order to get to the next stage. So we schedule the funnel build-out call. So we basically tell them our team is going to help you set up a website and build out your first funnel. We're going to set up the Facebook ads, landing pages, follow-up campaigns. And we're going to do all that. That call happens with why Woods, Woods is on. When Woods does their plan, when they hang up the phone, they're scheduling that next call to get that funnel build out. We walk them through. Again, remember, I'm talking to a person that's kind of interested, right? Do you see how they can be getting more interested? Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Yeah, they're getting more interested. I say, here's an example of a funnel. This is a new construction funnel. But if you don't like that, we have 14 other funnels we can build for you right now. The one acre plus funnel is working. We have a, a waterfront funnel in, in Virginia Beach is that working. It's also working in Tampa. We have a hero funnel. We also have funnels where we can do, if you don't have a budget, you can't invest in Legion. There's some things that we can do low cost, no cost, use true budget, free stuff that we can walk you through. Again, the goal is to help them get into production. Our goal is to help them sell a house quickly. Um, you know, there's a guy in here. I got a couple friends in here, but one guy in here particularly did sell a house Last year, the year before, this is his first year, and he was, on, he was on my original real estate team, but this is his first year back in real estate. Um, and I think he, he I think he's at like 700,000 in gross commission for the year. Name someone who wants you, right? So literally, if you can help people get clear, and that's not by doing 10 different things, it's just doing them focused on one thing. So again, it's getting them real clear to focus and getting them into production. So we let them know our team is going to help them set up their website and build out their first funnel. Obviously, their Facebook ads. Then we plug it into the live training. The live training we provide is uh, expert advisor boot camp, CHA, CHSA, which is certified home selling advisor. They're going to get their listing, listing presentation, buyer presentation. They're going to be able to, able to leverage the differentiated value proposition, which is a proven repeatable system backed by market research to sell your home for up to 80 percent more than that. Four, three, 
in the pack, then the training gets updated. That's just how it works. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. The last one is I created a system for doing the, a, a, you know, announcements for your agents. So I think it's, it's a subdomain, Mike Rick's team, forward slash. But this is where um, I'm sending people where they can schedule. If if I'm, let's say I'm doing a podcast, an industry influencer. I, I think I have uh, a gentleman named Brian. He's going to go there. Um, if I have a new partner, they just come in and they're brand new and they want to do their live announcement, they're going to click there. It's going to go right through the process. It's going to have them upload their photo. It's going to give me everything I need for the thumbnail. They're going to go through. Everything's going to be there so I just show up and we have everything I, we need in order to market it. There's a, there's a video on that page that's explaining to them why they do it that way. And then maybe I'm talking to someone here. They're in my downline. They're telling me how great I'm here. I'm like, man, I want to interview you and share that. Hey, here, here's where you can schedule it. So I'm sending everybody to the same place, right? Um, again, when I'm talking to the prospect, you know, I'm letting them know. So and then next we're going to do, we're going to do your Facebook live announcement. That's going to be real thin. So I'm walking them through. So I'm kind of talking to two narratives here to you guys. Um, and finally, I'm telling them about the events. I'm telling them, hey, we're going to have the build conference. We're going to have the NAEA mastermind in USVI. We're going to have ESPCon in November. This is probably the most important slide. Is making, I mean, inviting people to events is a game changer. It's a game changer. You should be inviting. I am making an invite funnel. If anyone wants a copy of it, I'd be more than delighted to give it to you. Um, I'm making an invite funnel for ESPCon with Jimmy up here up front. We just shot Glenn in the back. The goal is to create a real small video. It's going to be about three minutes that you can send to somebody and it's going to be a collection of people telling them why they need to come to ESPCon. I think really, really, if you're not taking advantage, if you don't have a strategy, if you're not, if you don't have a list, if you haven't called people, you should be trying to get as many people as you can to ESPCon in November. It's done. If you can get them there, it's done. If you don't know your customer acquisition costs, if you don't know what you can afford to spend to get a recruit, that's your responsibility. But I can tell you they're worth a lot of money and you can afford to spend some money and get some people to that event. That's just my point of view. At the end of the day, I tell them when they partner with me, they're going to have my cell phone number. They can call any time. Again, my goal is for them to know that they have access to my calendar, that I'm their partner, that I'm there to help them. They can call me. They can call Woods. They can call Jay. And at the end of the day, that's how I feel like you get somebody plugged in and get them up running. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate